I think there might be an advantage being played here. Toby's cross is heavy. PK. Stands it up. Jermaine at the back post. Takes a touch. Francis. Oh, Nate Waldridge is onside. Cross comes in. Max Corn, he'll jump. We've got goals to back and no time to lag. Up the tags. All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Hashtag United game. Fresh off the heels of a big game against lowest off the way. Make sure you watch that video if you haven't seen it already. It's about 48 hours ago. There was 1,100 people in the crowd. And spoiler alert, we did get the win, which means today we're fighting for a potential 15th win in a row, which should be unprecedented and unbelievable. I've got Tom Williams with me. The opposition tonight, there's lots to talk about. Malden and Tiptree. We played twice this season already, once in the league, once in the cup. But you can scratch those two wins we got because they're a very different side with a very special manager. They have a manager who's managed England. The England international team is named Peter Taylor and he's now in charge of a team in our league. I mean, that's a serious uh, gaffer to turn up with, isn't well, it? Well, he must know what he's doing, surely. He'd like to think so. Um, so he's in charge. He's made some signings. He's made a couple of signings from us uh, directly with, with Billy Willis. Our old right back is their right back now. But also George Smith is playing uh, for more, uh, more than Tiptree these days after he moved there from Holbridge. What we're expecting from them tonight, Tom? Uh, speaking to, to Joe and Devs, they're expecting them to, to sit in and defend. Right. Um, maybe catch us on a break. Um, Everybody that comes here looks like they just want a point or just to hang on. But um, we're going to need to be brave and positive and patient and see if we can search out that 15th result. Yeah, not just the 15th win we're looking for in a row. We're also looking for a chance to go top of the league because Sudbury don't play tonight. They play tomorrow. A draw would take us top. A win would put us top by two points. Let's hope the lads can do it. Kind of like a broken record, but we know, we know the standards we need. Um, we know... You know, the bare minimum in terms of our energy and our, our desire and our work rate and the pace at which we play, all those things. But tonight, we probably need a little bit more in terms of it's certainly going to need to be good with the ball and our use of the ball and our decision making. And we're going to need to display patience and concentration. One of the things that the manager's done since coming in is look to make them more difficult to break down, more organised, more solid about you know grinding out points and I expect them coming here tonight that to be their approach let's get at them let's go and drive at them let's go come on quickly let's take a look at the team that Devs is sending out to play obviously with a game just a few days after our last one there is a few changes but James Philp stays in goal in defence we have Matty Waldridge Greg Halford starts after Harry Hayston went off injured against Lowestoft so Halford's in for him Anderson's alongside him and it's a debut at right back for Wyan Reid who was in the squad on Saturday but didn't come on he's in for Eli Benoit PK Humble returns after missing the last game uh, he's alongside Max Cornhill so Yoni Vukas drops to the bench Eman in ridiculous goal scoring form with four in his last two games is ahead of those two with Jermaine Francis and Toby Robolaren either side of them Ollie Miles comes in for Alex Tenyola for his first start in some time as well on the bench then that means we have Yoni Vukas Pedro Carvalho Alex Tenyola Eli Benoit and Kojo Apenting up the tags big game chance to make it 15 and we're underway Malden kicking things off in the white and red strip Hashtag United in the yellow and blue home team looking for 15 wins in a row. Interesting fact, uh, Greg Halford has just won the header there. He's very good childhood friends with the uh, the owner of Malden Tiptree. Looks like a 5-3-2. Here's George Smith against his old club. Eman tracking. It was a foul against Eman there. A bit of a light one, I thought. Free kick's going to be deflected as far as George Smith. And it's a goal against his old club very early in the game. On the left foot, it's a good finish, Tom, you've got to say. It's a tidy finish. It's just set up, it bouncing, and we're allowed him to get, get some weight through it. It is a good finish, it's right in the corner. And this is where playing like a back five from the start, like they have done, looks good if you get that early goal and you can sort of sit and protect it. Yeah. But it is a hashtag that will go behind early on, and it's a bit of a shock to the system, we have to say. The way we've been playing, didn't see that one coming. The amount of times you find where you think a free kick really isn't a free kick given by an official and something yeah. comes from it. Yeah, it did seem very light, that free kick, but you can't take away from the finish from George Smith, the third all-time goal scorer for hashtag. Matty Waldridge looking for Jermaine. Jermaine looks after the ball. Out on that quite foggy side, whips one in here. Looking for Ollie Miles. Toby could be at the back post here. Oh. That's good defending to clear it against so him. A little for the bit of hesitation kick. from Tobe there. Can you switch it? There it is. Wyan's got to get there though. 
wasn't the most uh, helpful of passes for Matty Waldridge. And now McQuinn is getting forward for Morden down this left side. Wyan Reid with a strong tackle. And that's what we like to see at the tags. Good recovery. I think it's three minutes. One of the earliest we've ever conceded. Phillips kick. Ollie Miles, great jump. There's no one beyond step him. Got to step go. in. Got to step in now. Ryan and drive. Chance. Good. Looking for E-Man on the turn. Can he get it wide now? Gets it get to Toby. Him. Get round him. I think there might be an advantage being played here. Toby's cross is heavy. Oh, Jermaine's nearly there, though. I think that's a fantastic ball. Reid. Clipping it behind for E-Man. E-Man will get there. I don't mind that either. E-Man will get Oh, I'll keep. Oh, he wow. He has kept that in the box, in fairness to him. Just about. He's actually done very well. The goalkeeper. I didn't think he was going to get there first. That's a lot more positive, though. The last two or three balls forward, a lot more positive. Keeper's done really well to get there, and he's looked span on his knees, and he's just kept it in the box. And he might have hurt his shoulder, but I think he's really just looking for a sympathy vote in case he had taken the ball out. We haven't really had PK or Max in the game tonight, have we? No. Ball here for Toby, though, right on cue. Toby takes it down in the box. Oh, he could have maybe had a penalty there. Max Cornell trying to make it stand, I think. Toby leaves a trailing leg in there. He maybe gets a penno. Comes back to Wine Reed. He's going to look to deliver. Was that a shot? Just didn't get around the bend on it. Sent forward. Big header from Halford. He's going to drop into Max Cornell's area. Jermaine. Oh, side against Ollie Miles. Tight. How can it be there if it's offside, Lino? How can it be an hour half? Hello? <laughs> Is the foul given where they were? It's, not, it's where they were standing when it's they were offside. It's where, it? where they would be offside, yeah. Well, header from George Smith there. Not a bad connection, but Phil catches Good. it. Looking for an E man in behind. It's not offside. Gets the throw in. Max coming quickly to get this. Interesting. Gives it to Wyatt. I like that from Max there. Peter. I just felt we were. Just stands it up. Delaying. Jermaine at the back post takes a touch. Francis deflected. It's onside and it's a corner. Do you know what? That all comes from Max rushing to get the throw in there quickly. He just felt we were taking too long with dwelling over everything. Just get the ball back in play. It's experience for you, isn't it? Definitely. Okay, PK's on this corner Delicate now. Approach. Come on. PK's corner. Looking for Max Cornhill. Headed away though by Morden Tipsy player. Not once but twice. Waldridge gets there. Goes to PK. Touch deliver. PK just carries on with the ball here. Step overs are plenty. With two white and red shirts around him. Goes back to Matty Waldridge. Puts it in an area! Oh, who, Tom who Anderson, I think. I think it might have been Tom O. But it seemed to go backwards, didn't it? <sighs> that come off our player or their player, the header? I don't actually know. I thought ours, but it went the other went way. the wrong way. Jermaine here filling in. Going to help out James Philp. Good, you. Straight to Tomo. Straight to Tomo. Come on. Good pass from Greg. Finds Wine Reed. Get out of Wine. Come on. Leave him. Leave him now. That's it, man. Leave the space. Good. Kobe. Looks Don't for Wine on the overlap. It's, it's good defending from Mock Wenny, though. Once again, it's a goal kick for Morden and Tiptree. Good play, though. Good play. Yeah, because those sort of second man runs that Eman makes normally work so well because there's the extra centre back. Yeah. He's not got the room. Yeah, yeah, because he's, he's stretching one of them. They've still got a four when Eman takes up one out. Yeah. Alfred heads that goal kick straight back towards Ollie Miles. He challenges for it. Well PK's well come and got on. it. He's got Jermaine with him. He's going to try a switch early doors to Toby. It's too big. Oh, it's a difficult one. Story of our half, really. Gregan's throw. Flicked in. Greg came, tried to win it. Oh, he got the ball, he got the ball. He got the ball, I think so as well. He didn't get the penalty. Here we go. Ollie Miles gets a little flick towards E-Man here. Oh, it comes off Ollie again. So unlucky, though. Something out of nothing, right. nearly. Jermaine can nick this. Good from you to make space for Matty Waldridge. He needs some width now. Jermaine's looking at He's offering it. Great running from Jermaine, as usual. PK into Reed. Okay, Reed's got space. Go. Could you get a shot off here? He's thinking about it. He does hit it. He's hit it fiercely. Good, good, good trajectory. Um, kept it down well. Just, just, off, just off target. One of the few shots we've had this half. Yep. It's literally six of them in line, four of us in a line. PK's sitting over in left back right now. Matty Waldridge ahead of him. PK's on the ball. Can he run at them? 
in injury time now, the first half. Oh, Max, Max made a great run. That's Cross a better comes ball. In. It's a better ball. Max Cornhill jumps. Oh, it's really close. Better chance for the tags. Header just off target from Max Cornhill, but good build up. It was one of them. If it was on target, keeper was getting nowhere near it. Keeper, keeper, was, keeper was rooted. Right he couldn't move. He could not move. Waldridge to PK. He's going to blow the whistle any second. It'll be Needs the last kick. Quickly. P there, there it is. Go. There is the whistle. And it is 1-0 <laughs> to Malden and Tiptree at the break. It's a very early goal in a half of not many chances. But their back five is making us have to find a different way to break them down. It's going to be a tough second half. But we need some goals if we want to be top of the league tonight. Sometimes, sometimes it is as basic as running about to create an energy for someone else to pick up of it. At the moment, we've got people sulking, feeling sorry for themselves. We cannot stop. Everything you've put in over the last few months, don't give this up. You get a goal, you'll get another. It's not a surface for, for, for being in tight areas and tricky. It's, it's, it's icing up and it skids away from you. So it's two touch passes, out your feet, play, move it, get on. Move the ball wide, get on. I've got no problem. I've got no problem with getting beat, but not in this manner. No f***ing way. At least show a little bit of heart. Because that's been missing. It's like, oh, it's not going for us. Make it happen. Make it go for us. And get out there and win the f***ing game. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on. Big 45, guys. Get your predictions in the chat. What, do your, what does your heart say and what does your head say is going to happen in the next 45? Oh, hashtag going to turn this into a win. And we're underway for the second half. PK plays it back. Look at all these yellow and blue shirts getting forward. Straight into Ollie Miles. He heads it to Eman. Looking for Jermaine in the box. Imagine if we were to score straight from kickoff. It would be the perfect antidote to a poisonous first half. Wayne Reed with a chance to whip one in here. Lifts it into an area that's headed away at the near post. PK winds it up. Puts it into Jermaine. He's offside. He scored. Well, Eman scored. But there was an offside. I think the original offside against Jermaine. <coughs> Any noticeable changes in shape? Nothing from us, I don't think, apart from the fact that we went like sort of full Mighty Ducks flying V from kickoff. Max Cornell finds Waldridge here. Left foot can hit them, goes low. Good hands from Dixon Hodges. Waldridge just tries to finesse it in the bottom corner. Already, that's probably the highest of the pitch Max has been. Yeah. Which, which makes a difference because he does step onto things really well. It's a much more energetic, lively start, which is what we needed. This one's going to be a left footed corner taken by Gregan. Deliveries fierce, goes across the goal, needs to be cleared. Philp gets a hand to it. And it's, a, it's a goal kick, I think. That was a very good opportunity for Morden Tiptree, though. Probably their, their only second best opportunity of the game. Did it hit the post? I don't know. So it, uh, the, the, oh, I thought it was a save, but the cheers made it sound like it wasn't. Hmm. Cheer I'm made it sound sure. like it was a post hit, maybe. It's very know. congested. It just seemed to be bobbling around. It may have hit the post, we couldn't <coughs> quite see. But either way, came very close to a goal there, Morden and Tiptree. We come to PK. PK looks for Wine Reed, gets it back to PK. Reed on the overlap. PK goes on Get his own wider, instead. Mate. Get wider, mate. Waldridge is available. Wants to come in on that right side. Gets the shot off. Dixon Hodge again saves it. Bit of movement on the bench, I can just make out. Is that AT? Can't quite see. Oh, it could be Pedro. It's misty. Yeah, you're right. Good spot. It's Pedro with the uh, the wrist support. Greg Halford, well done. Billy Willis comes inside here. Jermaine does really well to nick it off him, though. Looking for the pass That's to Toby. Pass. Come on, Toby Ollie. could be Come through on, a good touch here. Come on, Ollie, make the edge. It's very wide. Make the edge. Aroma Laren still on the ball here. Puts it across. Oh, is it a save? It is. It's a corner. It's a save. Tommy Dixon-Hodge, will you just leave it out now? It's annoying me. He's going to try and wind it to Jermaine here. Could go through. He's going to go through. Jermaine Francis will get there. Back post. Can he get, take on his man and get a shot off? Goes low. Just defended well again by Morden and Tiptree. Come on, Tags. Half an hour. Come on, the boys. The minutes are going away fast. Reed's going to kick Great this ball. in. Good area. Great Cornell ball. hits it down. It was in the right direction in terms of the, the lowness of it, but yep. off target, Tom. The only thing there... Max was there too early. Mm. He, was, he was waiting for the ball. If, if he's running onto it, I'm not, I'm not saying it's a, a bad run or anything, but he was waiting for the ball to come. So he just had to generate the power and the direction. Yeah. Good delivery, though. PK. Can you get to E-Man? He's drifted out to the left. He's got a lot of space, E-Man. 
Oh, oh nice little lead from Pedro to Eman. Eman puts it in early. Yeah, I like that Back as well. post for Max again. Seconds. Can we just re get the seconds? Get it, get it Can we keep the pressure on? Reed. Flicked it down the line to Jermaine. Great control. Flicked in. Okay. Corner. It's good. We're building momentum here. More pressure, more pressure. They've got to tire, surely, Tom. Yep. Corner goes short. Have to keep believing here. PK to Reed. Touch deliver. Reed puts it in. It's a low one again. Comes to Matty Waldridge on the edge. He can strike them. He does hit this one. Always rising. Come Switches on, Matty. On. Come on, Matty. Keep on. coming, Matty. Waldridge. PK. Jermaine. Reed again. Loads of the ball tonight for the debutant. Looks for Jermaine in the box. Can Jermaine get there? Puts it across. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Come on! It's Ivan again! It's Ivan again! It's his ninth of the season. The man's a goal scoring machine. But well done to Jermaine and Reed out there as well. Great play. Great one, two. Unbelievable scenes. It might be Eman's last involvement in the game as well. Is he about to make way? Yes, he is. It was his last touch of the game, Tom. Not a bad way to come off, is it? That's a great move. Now, AT is on. AT is on up the middle. Jermaine's gone into the hole exactly where you wanted to see him, Tom. Mm -hmm. Toby's gone back to the right. Ball forward here to Pedro. Pedro. Hashtag now going to have momentum. Will Morden come out and look for a, it's a great pass. another winning time, goal? Or are they going to settle for a draw here? They look to clear it. Could come to PK on the edge. PK takes it inside. Hits it low. Unlucky. Great first touch. Jermaine, look at him. Just dictating the play in there. Matty. Goes to Pedro. Great ball because it kept him wide. Billy dove in a little bit. And here's Pedro getting away from Willis. Good. Picks out Waldridge. Waldridge cuts inside. Looks for the little dinked pass. Clear. Jermaine should get this. Pedro. Getting plenty of the ball. Can he whip one on the left foot here? Goes to the right foot instead. Waldridge intercepts, hits it on the left foot. Difficult one. Man down for Morden. Pedro into Reed. He's got forward from right back here. PK. That was casual from PK. Come on. Better. He got it back. Greg. Oh, he's lost his foot in there. So did Didn't George Smith, him. luckily. Didn't touch him. There's no Both foul. Slipped. Both slipped. George Smith has stayed down. Greg slipped, then George slipped. We hope George is all right, of course, but play is going to continue. Matty Waldridge on the left side. Both players lost their foot in there, independent of each other. As Waldridge lifts it to the back post. What a save. Oh, it's in. Come on. And it's 18. And it's Teddy time. Get in. Come on. Brilliant. Fantastic. Seconds dropped in. Big, big goal off the bench. A lot of people predicted it. It's another almost tap in. The keepers tried to keep it out. It's a really close range effort. It fell to 80 in the right place in the right time. Hashtag in the lead. Yeah, I think I think it's Toby who competes with the defender and it just drops and he just toes it over the line. We do hope George Smith is all right, of course. He's stayed down since that incident. Greg lost his footing. It looked like a real disaster that we, they like, were going to go it, through. It and then George like, lost it, it too. It looked like both lost their footing, yeah. It wasn't, wasn't overly clear. There was no foul from either player, was it didn't there? It looked like a foul a, from no. either, no. George uh, Smith is going to hobble off here. Like He's done something to himself. Is, an is, ankle? It, is it an ankle? Is it a knee? I don't know. I think it's so an his ankle. right side. hope he's OK. Yeah. A couple of people saying, why in man of the match? Who? The wine read, a couple of people saying in the chat. Um, it's Tom's decision tonight, of course. <laughs> you can you can put some nominees forward and let the members decide if you want to as we're live. It's up he, to you. He's been, uh, he's, he's been really good. He's been good. I, I think, for me personally, I think I'd give it to Jermaine. Yeah, Jermaine's, but I think Jermaine's he's been excellent. been due one for a while. Cross coming in here. It's a good area. Oh, it's a good jump there from Bates. Let's see what the last five minutes has yeah, got. Of course. There's going to be a substitution here. Jermaine's actually going to go off. Yeah, I think he's just landed funny again as well. And it's going to be for uh, Ioni, I think. Let's hope Jermaine's OK. We've got big games coming up. Sent forward. Good from Pedro. Really Come good. on, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, Yoni's come on. He'll just do, he'll just work hard in there, run an absolute mile. In the ten dog. Oh, good pass here to oh, Reed. Well, gets a throw in. The floor there. It's Max. We've just done our third sub as well. That looks like he's holding his looks like he's holding his shoulder. It's Cornhill. It's down. Literally just done our final sub as well, but we had to do it because Jermaine was injured as well. Mm. So 
Don't really want to lose Maxi Cornhill. Like we say, two games in two days. Yeah, it takes its toll. 35 definitely. years young, Max Cornhill as well. Toby makes some space in the box. Can we get a, a third here? 80! Fantastic ball. Cornhill! What a save! Yoni's got it. Comes back to PK. You know, if, if we don't win tonight, man of the match might have to be their goalkeeper. I think got it that time we played them and beat them before. And they had nine men. Max Corner up from his injury, by the way, to nearly score there. Yeah. Great delivery from Toby. Here we go. Forward here with Reed. Dinks it in. Looks for AT. Comes to Max again in the box. Finds space out of nowhere. Blocked by a defender. Surely a foul on Toby there. None mm. of the ball from Boylan. Just used his body, I think. Philp. Towards AT. AT does get up and he does win it and he might get it again here. Well, he's only just jumped. Yeah. <laughs> Foul Probably get two or three Rizzler papers underneath his feet there. Come on, lads. Is this Wine Reed going to take this one? Uh, yep. It's quite difficult to pick people out on the, on the far side, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Toby, oh, jinx it past his man. Nice change of He's direction. still got it here, Toby. Can you pick someone out? Toby, he's put oh. it right across the goal. Needed someone at the back stick. Everybody seemed to pull out. Wow, what a run from Toby once again. He's, he's come alive in these last 10 so, or so minutes. It's going to be a long throw here from Gregan. Into the box. Flicked on. Yoni gets a flick on it. It's going in the box here for Malden. Can we clear it, please, lads? Reed does it. Oh, Billy had to win that. PK flicks it high. Cornhill comes through. Pedro, can you just turn and burn? Kick it past him. Just kick it past him, Pedro. That's a foul. Ref! Got to be a free kick. Reed's throw. Ref checks his watch. Just resist. Just resist it. Tomo gets a header. Malden on the ball in the box. We don't like this. PK's defended well. Reed's cleared it. Ref, you can blow up now, mate. You can blow the whistle, ref. Oh, come on, ref. You can blow the whistle now. He checks his watch again. This will be it, surely. The last attack. Waldridge. Well done, That'll be it, ref. That'll be it, ref. Oh, wow. Ref! Foul throw! Is that legal tender? Come on, PK. Oh, it's a big ball forward from Dixon Hodge. Wall just clears enough. it. That'll do. There Come on! Fantastic. It's Fantastic. 15 wins on the trot. The record continues. The best streak in English football is still alive. So it was a frustrating one after a goal from George Smith against us in the third minute. We had to wait for that opportunity. But we took it twice. Back in the lead. Win the game. Top of the league for the first time this season. Sudbury play tomorrow night against Felix though. If they don't win... We will stay top. Tom Williams, who's your UFL player of the match? Not just his assist, but he looked like he looked the bright spark all night. Yeah, he really did. Um, dropped into pockets, came inside, put some good deliveries in. Um, we've stepped on. So tonight's uh, man of the match for me is is Jermaine. Excellent choice. Jermaine's been fantastic for a number of games. So glad to see him get the recognition. You can see the league table, guys. We're officially top of the league. And let's hope we stay there now for the rest of the season. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Go to the extra channel. The link's in the description if you want to see Dev's post-match team talk. Until next time, up the tags. 15.